In this video, we're going to explore the question, is print on demand right for you? Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. If that's something you want to learn how to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So in this video, it's a little different. This video I thought about for the new sellers, for those that are just starting off on print on demand, or for those of you that are thinking about doing on print on demand, I wanted to create a video to help you figure out if print on demand is actually something you should be doing. And I'm talking about print on demand shops like Merch by Amazon and Redbubble, these ones right here, those print on demand shops, mainly selling t-shirts like I do. I know there's lots of different ways to do print on demand. You can sell jewelry and all these drop shipping things. But when I'm talking about selling t-shirts on print on demand, I'm mainly talking about this, Merch by Amazon, Redbubble, TeePublic, Cafe Press, Zazzle, all of those print on demand shops where they do everything for you and you're mainly making sales on t-shirts. So keep that in mind. I also wanted to let you know that anyone can do print on demand. I think that anyone can learn how to do print on demand. It's a skill that you can learn how to do, but just like how you can learn how to do FBA and you can learn how to sell cars and you can learn how to flip houses and learn how to do all these different things. So in this video, I'm going to try and help you out. I'm going to try and help you figure out the question, is print on demand something you should actually be doing? Is print on demand right for you? Is it something that's going to bring you happiness? So in this video, I'm going to ask six questions and these six questions are going to help you understand what print on demand is all about and how hard it is and what it takes to do it and kind of give you a feeling on if you're going to like this career, if you're going to like doing print on demand and hopefully this helps you a lot. So you're going to want to stay to the end to see all six questions. And if you stay to the end, you'll see a trend credit, which is a trend going on right now on Amazon for t-shirts and I'll tell you what that is at the end of this video. So let's get started with the first question of this video. And the first question is, do you want a low risk, no money down business? And I think the answer to this question for most people that start print on demand is yes. And that's true. This is why most people get into print on demand in the first place is because it's super low risk. You can start print on demand with no money down and it's very attractive to a lot of people because it's a business that you can start with absolutely no money down and very, very low risk. The only risk you're taking is your time. So you can go and upload designs and you see a lot of videos tell you about this and I think this is why so many people are jumping on print on demand and um, it is a great thing. I love it that uh, it's no money down, but this isn't the only question. This is just the first question and a lot of people just stop here and say, yes, low risk, no money down, I'm in. Don't stop here. Don't stop at this first question. This is the first question most people ask themselves and just stop and go. There's five more questions you need to ask yourself at least. I'm only doing six in this one, but there's at least five more questions you should ask yourself. Let's move on to question number two. Question number two is this, do you want to make money quickly? Now, a lot of people get onto print on demand thinking that this is a get rich quick scheme. And the answer to this question should be no. Um, because if you do want to make money quickly, print on demand isn't right for you. It's going to take a long time before you even see some sales. A lot of people get on print on demand. A lot of new sellers get on print demand. And I get a lot of these DMs and a lot of these questions. Hey, I'm on print on demand. I put a hundred um, designs up and I'm not making any money. And my first question is how long have you been on print on demand? So if you're getting onto print on demand and thinking that you're going to make thousands of dollars after one month, after two months, that is pretty much a lie. I mean, there are exceptions. There are some people who are superstars that will do this, that know how to do it. But for the most part, for most people, it's going to take you at least three months to even see one or two sales. And it's going to take you a good six months to a year to even figure out what to do. And that's what happened to me. It took me like even a good designer, even a person who knows how to design t-shirts will take six to months to a year. So remember this question again, if you want to make money quickly, print on demand is not for you. This is going to take a while. So question number three that you should be asking yourself if print on demand is right for you is this. Do you know what a good t-shirt looks like? 
So a lot of people just jump into print on demand, not even knowing what a good t-shirt looks like. Now think about this. Think about a business that you want to get into and you know nothing about it. Think about maybe getting into the sandwich business and never eating a sandwich before, not even knowing what kind of breads are right, what kind of meats are the right thing. That would be ridiculous, right? So of course, with print on demand, you really have to know the product. You shouldn't just jump into print on demand. I know it's low risk and no money down and that's very attractive. So a lot of people just jump in head first, not knowing what to do. And this is why they fail is because they have no idea of the product that they're selling. So do you know what a good t-shirt design looks like? Have you been studying that? I've been studying t-shirts my whole life and I know exactly what a good t-shirt looks like and what a bad t-shirt looks like. I can see it right away. And this is something that, this is a skill you can pick up and you can learn. But if you've never looked at a t-shirt before, if all you wear is just blank t-shirts and you have no idea what a good graphic t-shirt is, if you go into a store and don't even look at the t-shirts, you know, maybe designing t-shirts isn't right for you um, unless you really are passionate about it. Because if you are passionate about it, then go and study that. But you have to know, you have to know what you're selling before you sell it. Because uh, if you don't know, then how are you going to make one? How are you going to ask someone to make one? So that is question number three. Um, make sure you know what a good t-shirt looks like before you sell t-shirt. Make sure you know what a good sticker looks like before you sell a sticker and anything like that, right? So know your product before getting into it. So my question four for this video is related to my question three. And this question is, do you know how to design a good t-shirt? So not only do you have to know what a good t-shirt is, but you have to know how to design a good t-shirt. And you don't actually have to know how to design a t-shirt. Um, you can hire this out, but if you're starting from scratch, if you want to save money, um, that's going to cost you some money to actually hire out and get somebody to design it. So a lot of people um, get into it thinking that I'm going to just do all of this myself. And that's great if you're going to do it all yourself, but you have to ask yourself this question, can I design a good t-shirt myself? So if you can, if you have that skill, um, then print on demand is right for you. But if you can't, um, you're going to struggle uh, unless you can hire this out. So remember that going in, if you're going to do this all yourself, you're going to have to learn how to create those good t-shirts. And if you're willing to put in the work, you can actually learn how to do this. I have lots of videos to teach you how to design a t-shirt with Affinity Designer or other applications out there. Um, so this is something that you can learn how to do, but just going right into it and not knowing how to design a t-shirt, it's gonna take you some time. So think about that when getting into print on demand. If you're serious about print on demand and you wanna do it all yourself, you need to learn how to create these good t-shirt designs. So question number five is a question that most people I think forget. And that is, can you come up with a lot of ideas? And if you're the type of person that has tons of ideas, you can come up with ideas every day, every week then print on demand may be right for you. But if you're the type that has a struggle with getting ideas out there, you got, you know, you got two t-shirt ideas and after that you can't think of what to design next, print on demand may be a struggle for you. Now, there's lots of videos out there that will tell you um, what's trending and what to do and those can help you with ideas. But a lot of people get into print on demand just jumping in and not knowing what to do. So the way to win at the print on demand game is to constantly come up with new designs. And if it's hard for you to come up with new ideas and new designs over and over again, every week, every month for years, then print on demand may be something that you don't want to get into because print on demand isn't just about putting a hundred designs on there and living off the passive income of those hundred designs. That's not how print on demand works. You need to constantly add new and more and more designs to Merch by Amazon, to Redbubble, and it's ongoing. And that's how you make thousands and thousands of dollars a month. So before you get into print on demand, make sure you ask yourself this question number five, can I come up with many ideas. So for my question number six, this is another question that I think a lot of people kind of gloss over and don't think about before getting into print on demand. And that is this, are you okay with repetitive tasks? So a lot of people get into print on demand thinking, yes, I can go design something, I can do this. But a lot of print on demand time is uploading. So uploading your design to these print on demand platforms is something 
that uh, is necessary to do and it is a part that's not as exciting as designing the t-shirts this is the part where you're just typing in um, words and keywords and descriptions and then adjusting your design onto each of the products and just making sure that it's right and doing this over and over and over again so this is where a lot of people struggle as well when they get into print on demand and they they stop print on demand for a while because they just don't like uploading and if you're okay with doing repetitive tasks over and over just these simple tasks over and over then print on demand may be okay with you but if you find that boring if you find sitting at the computer just typing away and clicking buttons over and over again then print on demand may not be right for you because this is something that can be repetitive this can be something that can be considered boring so before getting into print on demand make sure to ask yourself this question am i okay with repetitive tasks am i okay with sitting at the computer for hours clicking buttons typing out something and uploading over and over day after day so you may think of print on demand as just drawing and a lot of artists get into that but the reality is half of that time um, is uploading so know that going into print on demand so that is it those are all my six questions that you should be asking yourself before you start print on demand let's do a recap first do you want low risk no money down business the answer should be yes so second do you want to make money quickly and the answer should be no um, of course we want to make money quickly but this is not something print on demand can do for you um, number three do you know what a good t-shirt looks like make sure you know your product before you jump into it know what it looks like and on top of that question number four do you know how to design a good t-shirt so both of those are important before jumping in and can you come up with a lot of ideas um, if you struggle to come up with a lot of ideas print on demand may be tough for you because that is part of print on demand is to constantly come up with new designs new products all the time and lastly uh, are you okay with repetitive tasks and the answer to that should be yes because there's going to be a lot of repetitive tasks when you're doing print on demand so those are my six questions that i think you should ask yourself before starting print on demand or if you just started print on demand to figure out if print on demand is right for you and just to be clear again when i'm talking about print on demand i'm talking about print on demand with Redbubble or Merch by Amazon or Cafe Press or Spring, those kinds of print on demand sites where you're mainly selling t-shirts, not the drop shipping print on demand. And I know a lot of people just do print on demand for fun and I'm not talking about that. This is more of, do you wanna do print on demand as a business? Do you wanna make thousands of dollars a month with print on demand? So thanks so much for staying till the end of this video. And your reward for staying to the end is a trend that I found on Amazon and I'm calling this my trend credit. Thanks for joining me on this trend credit. Here is your trend class of grow with me shirt. Now, the reason why I don't have class of 2035 or class of 2034 is because you can add whatever that is in here. So you can see most of these are uh, way out in the future and that's what the grow with me means. So this is something that a, a t-shirt in this case that a child would wear on their first day of school at kindergarten or pre-k whatever you call that and then wear it throughout high school so you're going to buy it big and watch them grow into it so hopefully they fit it um, get a extra large or large um, version of this because you never know how big your child's going to be at uh, you know as a senior so you can see um, this says class of 35 this says class of 34 with check marks here um, for kindergarten, first grade, second grade, fourth grade, or third, fourth, I don't know how to count. So you can see 2035, 2033, so lots of ways to do this. Um, you don't have to put the check marks, you can do it in just a different way like this. So um, this is one that's super saturated though. So you need to come up, you need to think of ideas, a different idea that's not being done already, make yours unique. Uh, and stand out so just wanted to show you this and take a look at this on merch informer it's getting an a so you know it's good there's the competition is still okay so if you don't have merch informer uh, i have a link in the description to merch informer down there um, in my description take a look i wanted to show you this uh, just how many sales are going on here 95 estimated sales look at that low bsr 27 if this doesn't inspire you to make your own version of this um, 40 estimated sales low super low bsrs like easy designs right but make sure that yours 
is different than these. Um, jump on this one. A lot of people are buying this before back to school, of course, their first day at kindergarten or first grade or wherever they're buying this. Um, of course, the year matters. Um, next year, you're gonna have to make more and more. So just plan out ahead, you know, 2034, 2035, 2036, and so on. So uh, have fun with this one. This is your trend uh, for your trend credit of this video, uh, class of grow with me shirt. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you to help you decide whether or not print on demand is right for you. If it was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. And before I leave, I wanted to ask you a question and it is related to this video. And the question is, how do you know print on demand is right for you? If you're on print on demand now and you're doing it, how did you know? What question did you ask yourself or what made you think that print on demand is right for you? I think it's right for me because I can do all those things that uh, I love t-shirts. Uh, I love designing t-shirts and I'm okay with repetitive tasks. So print on demand is perfect for me. Um, let me know in the comments uh, what, why print on demand is working for you. So. Thanks so much for watching again. And if you wanna see more videos, click on these videos right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.